What's up, YouTube? It's BNSS6436 first. Awesome videos here. And I'm sorry for uploading any videos for like almost like half two weeks. Awesome. And guys, it's lagging. It's starting to move. It's not responding, guys. Because I will upgrade soon. It's not responding again. So guys, the reason I wasn't uploading any any videos this this weekend because it's not responding again for the third time. Maybe I was busy working on BNSS 6436 East. Maybe I was working on this rolling stock these covered hoppers so guys, this is like even worse like the maybe I was busy working on this train that's why I wasn't uploading any videos any of this week or last week We're doing the tutorial on the GE AC44 C4M from 599 to 619. So, type blocks that you'll need. So, so let's pick. So let's take out gray concrete. Posh DRite stairs. Posh DRite slab. Posh DRI block. DRI wall. Iron bars. Birch trap door. Birch fence gate. Hopper. So let's get four, one, two, three, four. Right. Skip two, add wheel, 
skip to and will. So guys, you might know this is actually the rebuilt version of the Dash 9. So, you don't need a traction. So don't add a traction mode right here. Because this is a, cause these are C4 trucks. So I have a traction motor here. So guys, you might know on C4 trucks, the trucks are unpowered. So guys, I forgot to do that on the GE ET44 C4. But I edited it, it and got all that editing done. These are like the same trucks as the ES44C4 and ET44C4. Right, that are double stairs of parse DRI stairs. Stair here and stair here. Let's finish adding our right side ups. Let's add our upside downs. Add the detail on the trucks. That the birch fence gate opened.
and on C4 trucks, you always gotta donate three axles per truck. Also want iron trap door. Let's place that. And these two by threes. So let's add this two by three. I'm actually going to wall edit it. Stack. Three West. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because all you gotta do is add in a two by three. That's very simple. Cause pretty cool while adding the <laughs> the fuel tank the bottom the bottom layer. This I will also include the top layer. We're adding. Same thing, but the top layer. But I'm actually going to add a 4 by 2 Three West. Because all you gotta do is add in another four by two. It's pretty cool while adding the fuel tank for the layers. We well, actually don't need wall edit. We're probably gonna use. We're gonna take Minecraft Bell because the 
the GE AC44 C4M has has <coughs> mechanical bells. I hear it. Sounds awesome. Let's add two, two DRIs in the back and three in the front. Let's add the fuel tank as usual. Add these compressors for the brakes. So guys, I added the new BNSF logo on. I added it on BNSF 6182. Uh, let's take skeleton skull as like the spitter valve that releases air when the brakes come on. So let's. Uh, we actually don't need to clear items. I love making videos for you guys, but often I have to work on other stuff, but I always make videos for you guys, because I make train tutorials, where I'm actually making locomotives. And mostly I do rolling stock. Because you might know, Crafty Fox up, Crat Fox Yard actually uploaded a video on on the CSX Crazy Eights SD40-2. Uh, that was the incident from 2001. Because that was the, called the Crazy Eights incident. Alright, stairs. Let's add DRIs. Hush, DRIs stairs behind these wheels. Actually, you don't need skeleton skull. Yes.
surface detail. Keep adding in plus D right slabs. guys that's pretty much it on the fuel tank and the trucks now let's add in the plows for the plow the blocks that you'll need is parse blackstone Harsh blackstone stairs. Let's do dark oak. I'm going to take dark oak fence gate as our air brake hose. Shrimp wire hook for like this wire. It's on there. Let's take a redstone lamp. Chain block. End rod. Ladder. Also, a dark oak trap door. And keep adding in this 2x5. on both sides let's make this C shape of harsh blackstone stairs so guys the reason I don't use nether brick because because harsh blackstone matches the black on the black concrete block Take in rod. Label railings is pretty cool. There you go. There you go. So some portable railings. All right. Let's take the birch fence.
also add our chain block. Let's also take another brick slab, which is our coupler. For some reason I added this fence gate right there because I use it as our air brake hose. A stick and lever. Because it's pretty cool having the lights on. When locomotives are sitting like this. Let's add the same thing, 2x5. Let's add the trap doors first for you add in this 2x5 of black concrete because this is our steps to get up to the locomotive let's take in ladder So let's add our air brake hose right here. And the other is facing. And the one's facing the front. Take trip by hooks has this wire. Another brick slab as our coupler. And make like this L shape. Let's also take a polished blackstone slab. And also take a chain block. Look at that, got ourselves a guard. So you can hook up to the any trailing locomotives. So you can you can use these locomotives on any of your freight trains. I'm actually gonna wall edit it. <laughs> what do you mean? So guys, what do you mean wall editing is a probably a stupid idea? Let's do stack three east. Just keep and the rest. Let's add in this these fence gates. Oh yeah. I've got Enrod. So guys, you might know this is actually the rebuild version of the the Santa Fe War Bonnet C44-9Ws. So I'm adding this in the H3 scheme. Let's take bedrock. Let's take two by two of bedrock. 
two blocks below and another two by two this is the same thing I did on the C44-9W in the H1 and H2 scheme I should probably do H3 and the war bonnet this time the vent has moved down here So let's get Ned Brick Fence and Dark Oak Fence Dark Oak Fence Gate. Let's take Birch Fence Gate. No 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 Birch Fence. Why am I keep seeing fence gate? <laughs> If I were to make these kind of moving trains in Minecraft, I'll probably have to just super glue all this, <laughs> super glue all this detail. <laughs> let's, let's add birch. No, 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 no. Dark oak fence gate. Why am I kept saying birch? And these fence gates. So guys, thank you for 30 subscribers. You guys are really awesome. Maybe maybe you guys love the AC44C4M and the ES44AC. Because I will be using 5978 for my Autoracs. Stop here. Let's keep and the fences. So guys, the reason I'm making the walkable walkways a bit early, cause okay. Um, so when they rebuilt the ES, the the Santa Fe Warbonnet C44-9W, or should I say, ATSF. ATSF C44-9W. I have one block a bit taller. Let's take in y'all concrete. Also, orange concrete, black concrete, and harsh black stone stairs. Let's make like this giant C shape.
That's a pretty big C shape. Add in two by two of orange concrete. Let's take black stained glass as our door window. Let's add in these layers. Let's take posh blackstone stairs. Right side up facing toward make like this is our N. Of course that will be like our S. Let's take dark oak button. For like our modified BNSF logo in the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty cool adding in these, these logos. So let's take a birch fence gate and that those all opened up. It's like this ladder. Let's take lever. Also, a stone button. Let's also take a harsh black stone slab. Let's take harsh black stone. Black concrete. Let's add in black stained glass block and add in black concrete as our number label. label. You can make number of one, it has to be from 599 to 619 because that's what I found on. RailroadPictureArborCheese.net Let's keep adding in the rest of the walk platform on the right. Five slips and one stair. I will do the same thing on the left on the other side. Let's take birch birch button. Also a ladder. As like these vents right here. So guys, I'll be right back. To see if that this is right. All right, guys, I'm back. So I found out I am right. So add in these vents. Look at that. 
let's add in our locomotive model type in AC 44 C4 M same thing on the other side let's add in the detailed windshield which is orange stained glass pane black stained glass pane let's add in black stained glass pane state iron bars I did to both sides did on both sides so guys my alarm's going off I'll be right back it's distracting us I'll be right back Alright guys, I'm back. That was kind of distracting. Just don't pay attention to that. Just pay attention to the tutorial. You can make into in you can make an interior if you want. You can just delete those stairs. But I'm just not making an interior. For the video. You can make an interior. If you want to use this on any of your trains, let's take an acacia slab and acacia stairs. Same thing on the other side. So guys, I'll also make bus videos. You will see videos of me riding some buses. These buses are awesome. Let's make the control panel. So the lever on the right will be the throttle. this as your emergency brake let's take white carpet and also smooth quartz slab whereas I like to do it on all my builds Pretty much it for the cab. Now let's add in this two by six. Because you will see the AC forty four hundred CW soon. I'll also do an H two version and an H three version. Let's I have 5703 in my Minecraft yard, but I repainted it into the H3 scheme. It's pretty much it on the walkable walkways, which are finally done. Add yellow concrete to the back.
Let's keep at let's add orange concrete. Let's take a birch trap door as our our brake for that or for the handbrakes. Let's add in yell concrete for the rest of the layer. I'm actually gonna wall edit it because it's much faster. So let's add the top. So we we'll take bedrock, and also a black carpet. and the rest of this layer. Let's add horse blackstone button. Because that's what it looks in real life. That's what the AC44 CW will look like. Let's also get a parse blackstone stairs. Add in a Oak fence gate. Let's 
So guys, I'll be right back. I'm actually gonna head over to the seat, the da the two dash nines. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So it took a long time for me because it was not responding the whole time. So almost oh, just like this. I'll be right back. I'm heading back to the AC44 C4M. Alright guys, I'm back. To the AC44 C4M. Now let's add in let's add in the special exhaust. You don't have to add it, but I recommend you do. Because you think that you treat that your locomotive because you treat that your locomotive is running. Head to the create mod. Then there's copper ore. This is speedometer. Before we add in the rest of the radiator, let's add in our modified BNSF logo. Let's remove eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can make this eight by two. I do they have like a speedometer on the create mod. It's like those mods like where you can make functioning moving trains in Minecraft. Let's take our N. Upside down. And then right side up.
Let's take Acacia Button. There's that modified logo. Sounds looks way better than the original one. Because the old one was stupid. So I said add in this modified logo. Parse Blackstone slips, and this one up by that one's a right side up, and add black concrete. And this one upside down, facing forward. So take right side up facing the back and you take in birch and then acacia buttons Take orange concrete and upside down facing the front as our F. That's pretty much it on our new BNSF logo. Pretty cool adding that logo, huh? Let's let's just add the back. So it's eight blocks long. Let's take a stone button. Let's take a black carpet. One here, two in the front. So this is our radiator. So it's one, two, three. This is pretty much the same radiator as the the normal C forty four dash nine W. at the rest with parse blackstone stairs and the top spring is the same Let's take first sign as our number boards. 
guys I'll be right back I'm gonna see if, if the number boards look right in the back I'll be right back alright guys I'm back so I found out the number boards go here so guys you can make the number you want it has to be from 599 to 619 Let's add in this ladder. Just all with birch fence gates. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna look some other detail. Let's on this look out of be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So I don't need to add a stairs right here. Just leave it as it is. Let's keep adding in the rest of the radiator. Adding in. Let's add, add the rest of the top layer by posh blackstone slabs. So, drop your comments below what you think of this being a Seth logo, because it looks cool. Because I will do a remake video of the ES44 AC of these logos. And I also added this logo in the front. Let's add our, our door banner. So let's take black banner, loom, also orange dye. So let's take our orange banner, let's place it oh guys I forgot <laughs> the number boards go in the front also also had number boards in the front which is just just birch signs. Gonna look around, make sure everything's done. Another cool thing I can actually do is turn on the back light. The light in the back. Cause it looks cooler. Alright, that's pretty much it. How to build the GE AC44 C4M from 599 to 619. So, drop your comments below what you think of this video and this locomotive, including the BNS, the new BNSF logos. So, thank you again for all the love and support, and thank you so much. Oh, guys, I forgot. Uh, guys, I forgot the coupler in the front all right that's pretty much it again that's pretty much it how to build the GE AC 44 C4M so drop your comments below what you think of this video and the BNSF and this locomotive including the BNSF logos and all the other detail I added. So thank you again for all the love and support. And thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Peace.